Celtic dismantled a 10-men Ross County side yesterday afternoon in what was a thrilling encounter. In today's video we'll discuss the fallout from that game whilst also going over all the latest Celtic news from the last 24 hours. But first make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more Celtic content. Celtic striker Hyangoy Oi turned out to be the difference maker for the hoops against St Mirren midweek. It was a deserved victory for the boys who did leave it rather late against the Saints. They got the job done though, with O's contributions proving crucial. He finished with conviction late on and received praise from ex-Celtic striker Chris Sutton. He said, O has got a bit about him. He's not up to the same level as Yikimakas, but he has the qualities and he has shown good attitude. I've watched him warm up when he's been on the bench and he's pushes himself like a lunatic. He's clearly chomping at the bit to make an impression and he managed to do that the other night. Although he has received few significant opportunities at Celtic, the 22-year-old has impressed in his little time he has played. In the league for the Scottish champions, O averages a goal every 89 minutes. Having to compete with Kyogo for a place in the team is an extremely tough gig. O wouldn't have done himself any harm with his right or goal against the Buddies, however, and he will be keen to secure more opportunities following on from this. The South Korean striker was unlucky not to get on the score sheet against Ross County. A fractional offside call from VAR disallowed his goal. Before Celtic travelled to Ross County on Saturday afternoon, Brennan Rodgers challenged Liam Scales to perform well now that he's entering a new stage of the season. He delivered in a big way. For a large chunk of the campaign, Scales has been something of a default pick in the Celtic defence due to several injuries. That's certainly how he got his opportunity under Rodgers to begin with. However, as the Celtic boss pointed out in his pre-match comments, it's one thing performing when you know your place in the team is safe, and it's another when you know there's pressure on you from other squad members. Chris Sutton suggested in his daily record column today that he has concerns about Celtic summer signings and that he would have expected Gustav Lager Bilk or Mark Norkey to have displaced scales in the team by now, but as it was shown in the 3 0 win at Dingwall, the Irishman is simply undroppable at the moment. The 25 year old was again one of Celtic's top performers and not just in a defensive sense. From the centre back position, he was one of the most creative players on the pitch, with fans claiming that he is unbelievable. Scales created three chances across the 90 minutes, with two clip balls into David Turnbull and Kyogo particularly difficult for the county defence to deal with. Both players could have scored another on the day. His expected assist number of 0.74 for the match is impressive for his position. He also managed to get into position for five shots and, let's not forget, arguably shouldn't have had his first half finish disallowed for Hyungo Oyo's foul. The defender's distribution was accurate with 93% pass completion, 21 of which were progressed into the final third of the pitch. Scales was effective in pinning County back and taking advantage of their 10 men status. Coupled with strong defensive work on yesterday's showing, you can understand why Rogers is no rush to drop him to the bench. Tougher tests are ahead, of course. He will have a much more difficult night on Tuesday away to Atletico, and perhaps that will be his biggest indication of how far he has come or not. Nonetheless, you can't say he isn't earning his place in the starting eleven. Milwaukee, Lager Bilk, Phillips and Welsh are going to have a job on their hands to force their way into a regular contention without a drop-off in Scales' form. Peter Grant has praised Luis Palmer after he came off the bench to score a wonder goal for Celtic against 10 men Ross County. Brennan Rodgers' side made the advantage count by scoring through David Turnbull just before half-time, but when Luis Palmer was introduced into the action just after the hour mark, Celtic still needed that cushion and breathing space. There was no threat from Ross County and it was just a case of making sure and Celtic's £4 million summer signing did just do that in fine style by scoring and assisting. Louis Palmer's exquisite long range effort from about 30 yards was described as fantastic by Peter Grant who added that he is a player who has that bit of quality and he is someone who causes havoc as he told Sports Scene. The 23 year old was dropped to the bench for yesterday's match because of the upcoming Atletico Madrid clash in the Champions League. It just goes to show how important he has become to the team in such a short space of time. From Luis Palmer's 13 games in all competitions since moving to Parkhead, he has 5 goals and 4 assists to his name, with Peter Grant adding that he is excellent every time he watches him play. Palmer has been excellent every time I have seen him this season, said Grant. When he came in, he scored the goal, he created chances. Every time I see him, now, he looks like a real threat. Positive in everything he does, he has real good quality, inch-perfect cross for James Forrest's goal. I think he does similar things to Jota, he creates chances, what I like about him is that he comes inside, he doesn't pass it back into midfield. He will deliver balls into the box and cause havoc. He likes a shot at goal, he has all of them up his sleeve. You think to yourself, he has that bit of quality, that wee bit of magic about him, and his goal was fantastic. The Honduras star doesn't have the pace of recently departed Jota, and that's probably one of the only few things missing from his game. 
but for someone with that express pace or ability to just push past someone, he can sure make the ball tick in the final third, score that wonder goal or pick out teammates like he did with Matt O'Reilly against Hearts. It also needs to be noted that he's only been in Glasgow for a few months, so if he's producing this in his early days, then imagine what he'll be doing in 12 months' time. There are many examples of this Celtic squad from Matt O'Reilly to star forward Kyogo. The recruitment at the club and the ability to pluck out these unknown gems is nothing short of astounding. James Forrest answered his critics by coming off the bench and scoring during Celtic 3-0 win over 10 men in Ross County on Saturday. It has been a remarkable career for quite a remarkable person, because that header goal at the far post was James Forrest scoring for his 15th consecutive season for Celtic. Even though the three points were heading towards Celtic's direction by the time he came onto the pitch, that goal from the 32-year-old probably brought the biggest smile out of everyone. Alistair Johnson was certainly pleased because he wrote on his Instagram story, Build a Statue. Well, James Forrest has already had his testimonial this summer against Athletic Club, which was a much-deserved afternoon for the player that ended in a 3-2 win. He is no longer a regular starter for their club, but he is still a well-liked figure amongst the Celtic fan base. And with his current contract set to expire in 2025, you would expect that he is in the final years as a Celtic player. Brennan Rodgers rotated against Ross County with some big hitters starting from the bench ahead of that all-important trip to Madrid to take on Diego Simeone's side in the Champions League. In the Premiership, things are going as well as ever. Still unbeaten, top performances galore, backup players performing, and an 8-point lead over Rangers. But this showdown against Atletico Madrid is a huge if the team wants to stand a chance to fight for a European football beyond Christmas. You would expect the likes of Kyogo to come back into the eleven, as well as the new kid on the block, Luis Palma, who is impressing many. In a display of camaraderie, supporters of PSG extend a gesture of unity towards Celtic's Green Brigade by displaying a supportive banner in the French capital. The act of fellowship comes as the Green Brigade have been suspended from Celtic Park, following the club's crackdown on what is termed as unacceptable behaviour. This led to the absence of the North Curve regulars during Celtic's 2-1 victory over St Mirren on Wednesday, with the ban expected to continue indefinitely, as per the Scottish title holders' statements. International support for the Celtic fans has emerged, notably from PSG's fervent supporters, who during their recent match against Montpellier, which PSG won 3-0, showcased a banner emblazoned with the words Green Brigade until the last rebel. Accompanying the banner were two Palestinian flags, symbolising solidarity. This isn't the first instance of PSG fans acknowledging the hoops. Just last year, PSG's Natekia Palace supporters group prominently featured the Green Brigade's emblem in one of their elaborate TIFO presentations. Celtic fans, what do you make of the result of yesterday afternoon, and who was your man of the match? Let me know down in the comment section below. That brings us to the end of today's video guys, make sure you drop a like on this video, and subscribe to the channel for more Celtic content. Remember, we have released our brand new Celtic t-shirts, we have our Brendan Rodgers Pope t-shirt, and our Celtic Ultra t-shirts too. You can find them at celticpower.com, or just go down to the link in the description. Thank you, take care, bye bye.